Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an extreme clean with me and today's video is sponsored by privacy.com. I'll be talking a little bit more about them later in the video. So I'm starting off my day by ordering some groceries on walmart.com. I love to order my groceries on walmart.com and go pick them up. It makes it so easy. It's so convenient. And if you've never used Walmart grocery pickup before, you don't have to tip them. You're actually not allowed to. The service is free and it's so convenient. So definitely try it out. And also this is kind of where privacy.com comes into play. So I'm going to be talking a lot more about them at the end of the video, but just to kind of give you an idea of what they are about. When you shop on places like walmart.com for groceries, you store your credit card information and that could potentially be stolen from hackers and privacy.com gives you a great alternative to that, to where you're protecting your identity, you're protecting your credit card information online and you never have to worry about that. But I need you to deal with my sorrow Just a memory, just a broken frame And I know that I have no one else to blame Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you wanna be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too have my fall home tour up now if you guys haven't seen it definitely check it out I'll have it linked in the description box for you I know you can see a little peek of my fall decor right there and I'm sure some people are gonna want to know where I got it from so definitely check out my fall home tour and you'll know where everything is from should have told you that you're beautiful I wonder where are you now I'm using this Clorox bleach to spray down my sink and let that soak while I do the countertops and then I'm going to go ahead and scrub it out but I like to disinfect my sink because there's a lot of gross germs in there so I highly recommend doing that if you don't and then I'm using this glass cooktop cleaner I'm taking a sponge with the slightly abrasive side and I'm going to buff that in and then I let it sit while I wipe down the countertops and then I came back and wiped it off and it just gets any of the cooked on stuff like I boil over water a lot and that can leave little like stains and they can be kind of hard to get off but this stuff will take it right off and make it so shiny you will see in a minute how shiny it is but I like to use that or the soft scrub stuff works just as good but I had that under the sink so that's what I was using so I'm just drying off my pans here and then I'm gonna wipe down the countertops with my jaws um, this is the disinfecting cleaner I love all my jaws products but this is the disinfecting one so after I declutter everything that's what I was using and I love the jaws stuff because I can and use it on like glass and stainless steel and everything and it doesn't leave any streaks. Saying what ain't easy. I know you can't talk to me, but I hope you realize you're playing with fire. You put my arm on and no Stop to care You have done it now Left me on the ground This is it I won't come back If we don't stop If we don't go I've been left alone And you're now when you go Sitting by myself Going crazy like all the time If we don't stop 
So I got this little mop on Amazon and I'll link it for you guys if you're interested and I really like it. I have a Bona and I love my Bona but mine is old. I've had it for a long time and it's kind of broken and it's really annoying to use. So I saw this and it was really cheap and I wanted to try it so I grabbed it and I do really like it. You can put your own cleaner in the thing. I just did pine salt and water and then the little pad is washable so that's what I was using today just for a quick cleanup. I didn't feel like breaking out the big guns to clean my floors on this day and it worked really good. I did get a new rug for under my table. I got this at Kohl's. The reason being, I love my Ruggable. If you know that before I had the Ruggable and I'm keeping that, I have it stored up, but because I use robot vacuums, it's really not compatible with them because when they go up over it, they tear up the like edges of the rug and it drives me insane. So if you have robot vacuums, they just don't go very well together. I mean, they vacuum on it great, but they just do that on the edges and it makes me like cringe. I just, I can't stand it. So I, this rug was on sale over the Labor Day weekend and I just picked it up and I will use that in the future in another spot in my house because I do really like the rug, but I cannot stand that fact. <laughs> like I'm struggling to vacuum this rug it is because I am I've talked about this before but this shag rug is super thick and soft under your feet I love it but it is such a pain to vacuum and it doesn't matter what vacuum I use they're all really hard to go over it so I am struggling but I did get it done So I'm gonna start in my bedroom by dusting my ceiling fans. I love the Invest and I'm just using like a Swiffer and I spray that down and then dust it off. It wipes everything off and then kind of like shines the wood as well. This is the way that I do it. It's the fastest way for me and I know there's a lot of different ways that people do it but this works for me and if any dust does fall down, I just grab it with a vacuum cleaner. It's not a big deal. Search within uh -huh. 
get asked all the time about that blue fan that's on my dresser and I got that at Walmart. Well, I actually got it on walmart.com, but that's where I got it and I love that little fan. It is so cute. It has three different speeds and you can also make it where it like pan, not pans. Does it? Is that what you would call it? Pans? Well, it like moves back and forth, whatever that's called. <laughs> So I vacuumed my carpets really well because I was going to shampoo them. I like to do this every so often. I have a Bissell um, Pro Heat carpet shampooer and I'm using some pet shampoo in it and I just put hot water. It does have a built-in heater and then some of the shampoo and I shampoo the carpets. I keep my fans on high and then it takes a couple of hours to dry but I really do like this. It's great if you have pets. It picks up all the dog hair. It picks up so much gross stuff and you're gonna see in a minute. So stay tuned because you're gonna see what came out of my carpet and it's really gross. But I thought this part was really satisfying. So I kind of slowed the footage down. And for those of you that like carpet lines, this is for you. Blowing smoke everywhere around. I've been searching. Push all the limits with you right now. So I 
So now I'm doing my daughter's room upstairs and I'm doing the same thing with her fan and then I'm just going to straighten up and dust off her furniture and vacuum in here. We better stick together, let's come whatever when I come in home tonight. We're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now. We only need the two of us together. I need only you in this crazy world. Cause we got love, love. I need only you here with me. You wanna get close to me, why don't you do it right now? I love this Love Home and Planet spray. It's in the rose scent and it smells so good and it lingers. They have body stuff, but they have their new home line and it is amazing. I definitely will be repurchasing this cleaner, but I love to use it in her room because it just smells so sweet and girly and it's awesome. So I moved Madeline's bookshelf into Kinsley's room and it's not really the way that I want it. So it kind of looks cluttered right now. So just ignore that. But I need my husband to do a little bit of work to it. The back needs to be nailed back on. It's kind of coming off and then I need him to screw some holes into the back so I can run some cords and stuff. So right now it's kind of just got stuff set up on there. But I do like it in her room for all of her books and stuff. And now I had to fold her laundry, so I'm doing that really quick and vacuuming and then I'll be done in there. Also, my shirt is wet from the sink when I was rinsing out the carpet shampooer tank. I got some water on my shirt, so that's what that is. So now that I've talked about a bunch of great products in today's video, I know a lot of you are going to want to do some online shopping. So this is where privacy.com comes in. If you go in the description box, you can find a link and you click that, you're going to go download their browser extension. And what privacy.com is, is basically you're going to enter in your banking information. It's completely secure within their website. So privacy.com helps you take control of your finances. You can set a spending limit. So for example, on target.com, you can set a limit to spend only $50 a month, $100 a month, whatever you decide. It helps you to keep your budget on track. And then also it helps to control your subscription services, your reoccurring payments. So say for example, that you sign up for a free trial of something, you forget to cancel and they go ahead and bill you. They're not gonna be able to do that with privacy.com because you have set a limit on there. Also. For example, you will never have to worry about being billed twice for something. So it just really helps you take control of your finances because you work really hard for your money. As a special treat for my viewers, new customers will automatically get $5 to spend on your first purchase for a limited time only. So definitely go check out that link in the description, head on over to privacy.com, download that extension and start protecting your identity online today. I wanna get to your clothes, gotta get it right now. I wanna push all the limits with you right now. So watch your feelings, the city screaming.